we have evidence that DJ Paramania and Top 10 music officials were active. So I'm going to go through these files with you guys. Um, and honestly, put your comments down below. I want to know your opinions about this. So evidence number one, the watermark thumbnail and branding editing removal. In a majority of DJ Paramania's videos and thumbnails, he would constantly leave a watermark to signify that he was part of his channel and part of his uploads. However, in Mashup Zone, which is the actor's name, have taken over his channel and have been erasing his existence. This was done through the removal and, you know, the watermarks and all that. So, as you can tell, they changed the channel logo. They completely rebranded um, DJ Paramina's channel. They removed the thumbnails and all that. They re removed the watermarks. They even, like, edited the thumbnails a little bit just so people would not catch an eye on this. We ripped a video that was not watermark at the time and then as you can tell with the YouTube tool editing tool they were able to mask um, the watermark on Yabianzi Musicer channel they posted a video of one of DJ Paramina's mashups which in which they linked him in the description even though it states follow DJ Paramania the link leads to mashup zone DJ Paramania had commented under the video which was pinned by Yamansi. And due to the rebranding, it shows as Mashup Zone. Evidence number two, video removal and privatiza privatization. DJ Paramania had a huge amount of subscribers and a huge amount of his uploads. He had over 200 videos, and a majority of them were more the market in the thumbnail and in the video. However, as Mashup, jo Mashup, Mashup Zone gained control of the channel, they began their purging process, removing the evidence that he owns a channel, potentially privating and deleting what contains his watermark, logo, and brand. So we have pictures from Mashup Zone, and if you can see these little green corners means DJ Paramania. And then, a month after the act, they removed most of the thumbnails, privated them, and only kept their own video edits and thumbnail edits of DJ Paramania's work. They also decreased video count over time. We made a mega mix with uh, DJ Paramania at the time, and this post that someone made on Discord, they linked a video of Midnight Mashups, with, which is one of our brands for mashups. It is not online anymore because of pay payment issues and all that, but that's not the point. But we had a website for mashups. And we can tell that in the video, DJ Pyrenea is stated in, in the video. But when you click on the link, it says Mashup Zone. And when it comes to Googling his name, you can see that DJ Pyrenea's videos, all videos are still there. And that some rebranded videos that were stolen are there. When researching YouTube for DJ Pyrenea, it shows as Mashup Zone. So this concludes that he was indeed act, and he was not aware of it until the last moment of his precious channel, which is fucking sad. More evidence is that we have a connection between Mashup Zone and another channel called uh, Trap Nation. But entering the Mashup Zone channel, it has a connection with Trap Nation and Mashup Nation, which they have placed under top of their list of featured channels. When searching through Trap Nations and Mashup Nations account, they have a lot of similarities. They are part of the family called The Nations, which is the CEO of the sub-channels uh, called Trap Nation. Trap Nation currently has two subdivisions or rendition of their brand called The Nations Central or Central Nations. The latter is not promoted of any of the Nations account which can be interpreted as an attempt to make them feel individualized. However, the concepts from family naming seems undeniable. Scrolling through Central Base Boost, which is affiliated with Central Nation, they showcase their family, which will be shown below. After inves um, investigating the majority of the channels, one led to the evidence that Paramania's account 
was stolen through supreme sounds, an affiliate of Central Nation. It shows that they have recently subscribed to Mashup Zone. Mashup, Mashup Zone, sorry. This provides another connection between Fat Nation, Central Nation, and Mashup Zone. Due to the naming of the channel Trap Zone, which was on their featured channel list, it became suspicious and was initially investigated. It turns out that Trap Zone's second ch second channel is called Chill Zone, and is run by a person named Daniel. Since there's channel naming pattern that is repeated within the nations. We searched many combinations of names that could potentially lead to another finding connection. This led to the finding of Trap Zone, which is run by Daniel. Furthermore, they feature Trap Nation and Chill Nation, showing another connection to the nation. One key factor of evidence that brought everything together was the locations of each channel. Trap Nation displays itself as United Kingdom. However, Chill Zone is in Antarctica. I've been in a location like Antarctica is very specific because it's not habitable in any way. But Mashup Zone was also selling from the same exact location. Also, Supreme Sounds and Chill Zone have the exact same description for their about page. Furthermore, in a past description for one of Supreme Sounds videos, they left behind contact information connected to Daniel. Evidence number two, Trap Nation. So, this central nation family and their potential victims uh, from hacking. On Supreme's channel, which is connected to Daniel, the URL appears to have the name Crazy Asian. After Googling the username, the results shows a YouTube page that goes by the same name and leads to Leanne Solomon. It shows a description of her channel where she names herself as Crazy Asian. When you click on her account, it shows that she has one subscriber, Supreme Sounds. She has one video that they like, and it is from Supreme Sound. So this leads to the exact person that act DJ Paramania, or is in affiliation with them. Another, another victim of acting um, was a YouTube channel by the name of Mr. Fontella, which is Drop Zone's um, URL. There is no secondary account that can be found, but there are remnants of this person's channel being stolen. This is because after searching the username and scrolling through a couple of pages on YouTube, there's a there's a, there is a trade about it on hack forums. This discovery means that the claims Vex has made upon Trap Nation's affiliation with hack forums is being towards the truth. Because yes, Vex made a video about channels that were being hacked. I will link it in the description if I don't forget about it. Trap Nations and Karem's Abayak's connections. When searching their names online, we found that there were many articles that were talking about this, and same names were appearing. By searching up Trap Nations on YouTube and on Wikipedia, it appears that there is a standard page that discusses their milestones, basic information about the organization. However, by viewing the past editing history, it turns out that there has been a lot of the legions of text within it. So the standard version looked like this, while the deleted version, which was the original copy, looked like this. It had more information about, about it and everything. While going through the edit history, we were able to find the United States um, IP addresses. If an individual does not have an account on Wikipedia, they can easily edit the information the information, however, it leaves behind their IP address, and by tracking the IP address, one of them leads to the United Kingdom, which was one of the locations named in the descriptions of DJ Paramedia's ACT account. And we did some reverse search of IPs, and we were about, we, we were able to find a directory of Karen's home, um, the actor's house. Um, we also found the uh, the IP address of the location. Um, there, both of these IP addresses are closed and they're very nearby. Um, we had news reports about this um, that were talking about this in overview, and it shows the same IP address for the exact ex the exact city. So this is from the IP location from Wikipedia, and this is from the 
IP directory from um, a jur jurisdiction, um, jurisdiction uh, case. When searching through the subchannels for Central Nation and the zones, the ones that were discovered to be run by Daniel was located in the United Kingdom. This applies to Central Base Boost, Trap Zone, and Central Treaty. In the process of writing this document, Central Base Boost has changed its location to Antarctica. However, he has a Steam Community server that showcases that he is indeed in the United Kingdom, making it suspect to have a similar location to the actors. Trap Zone appears to have an experiment that was not meant to be discovered. Um, they had Rush logos with an E on their profile being cut. Um, they used similar video effects in their videos. Um, and in one of their channels, once their channels were all discovered, they changed and manipulated data, um, changed subscriber counts, gained more views on certain channels, you know, making them feel as real people, even though they're not, they're bribes. Um, vexed, a YouTuber made a video about this, and he said that he was bribed by the CEO and Karam himself, which is the CEO of the organization, um, and was told to give money, or otherwise is public information. Like, is the information going to be public? So, this concludes that Trap Nation and Karam, you know, provide a lot of money for charity, but turns out to be for themselves. Conclusion. From our research, we believe that all the information provided in this segment confirms that Karim Alberak and Trap Nation have an affiliation with each other. Karim is constantly editing Trap Nation's Wikipedia page to remove any information that could talk about him. The CDO, the controversy, everything that was claimed by Vexed, all the claims are gone. He keeps doing that every time that someone posts about it. It can be proven that Central Nation and its family, especially Supreme Sounds, has hacked other YouTube channels like Crazy Asian and has stolen from them. Just like DJ Pyromania's situation, it has remitted its use Supreme Sounds and is also proven with Mr. Fondella's account that it was also part of the act, especially with the connections that are talk talked about in act forums, which is a forum known to talk about hacks and exploiting and stealing of people's information online. Furthermore, it does not add up that Daniel has created two or three different locations distant from each other completely. They had to use VPNs or had to manipulate data to cover their tracks. Um, this, isn't, this is evident that Supreme Sound is also ran by Daniel, which is from the UK, but tells the people that he's located in the U.S. It's not possible for an individual to be at, you know, a lot of places at the same time. Um, and to have chill zone in Antarctica is not possible. Like, you cannot live in the Antarctica, you know. It's quite hard to live there, actually. It's too specific to use a location, especially when DJ Paramania is from the U.S. and Karen is from the U.K. So Mashup Zone changed the location to Antarctica to just fake what he had already done. Karim and his members affiliated with the nations as well as Central Base Boost have been through red flags, you know. Um, a lot of people were able to find this information online, so we have a reason to believe that our evidence is correct because we've heard a lot of bribes coming from Vex channel that we're talking about Trap Nations and similar um, YouTube channels. We also found out that they dropped views and DJ Pyromania's. Chill Zone. You see, you can you can compare with Chill Zone, DJ Pyromania, and Supreme Sounds. They bought fake views, fake likes, fake comments to back up their tra their tracks to clear their names. On the account of Supreme Sounds, one of its videos shows that two members can be contacted. Besides Daniel's email, there is one person named Ryan which has been deleted everywhere else on the channel. Vex has made a claim about this in his, vid in his video. Laser Squad is a hacking organization that had taken down the PlayStation and Xbox 360 in 2013. On a news report that was taken at the time, reporters stated that one of the members that were interviewed 
that were interviewed is called Ryan. He is one of the most popular members of the squad, and the name's appearance could be a connection to the Laser Squad, the hackers that are based in the act forms, uh, treads. Karim and Trap Nations are very similar to what happened with Vexed on a stated video since Central Boost uh, was made in 2013. This could be a theory. They have a Steam community server uh, for Central Boost, uh, Central Race Boost. Within the members, it has been discovered that Ryan owns it as a Steam account and co owns CBB. According to the other IP address, IP address that was found on the editing history of Trap Nation, it directs us to Slovakia, which is the same location as that you know Ryan may live in, um, which leads to Trap Nation Central mashup zone being connected to Lizard, Lizard Squad at one point. The other IP address that was found on the Wikipedia page originally led from Slovakia, which could be Ryan's location. However, the IP address now directs to the United States, which might be due to a VPN. Probably. And because Supreme Sounds and Drop Zone, Central Blaze Boost, have a URL that shows a username called ZH Zertz Mods, uh, when you search that name online, um, the user told, tells us that he was hacked by hackers and he was pos potentially gone from the web. So, to sum up, we think that all of these people are actually the same people that act, uh, you know, this poor man's channel and other people. So, if you see any mashup zone uh, commenting on your video, honestly, don't interact. Thank you.